Hi everybody and welcome to another exciting episode of the Young Grown Ups Video Transmission. I'm your host Mark and today we're going to be taking a look at the Hot Toys MMS 175 Marvel's Avengers Thor. Now, I'm, I, I'm just going to stop completely trying to keep up with these numbers because two weeks ago I got Bane who was 183. Now I'm getting this guy who's 175. I don't even know how... I don't even know how they number figures anymore. It doesn't even matter to me. We're we're looking at Thor, and he is mightily awesome. I cannot wait to get this guy opened up and out of the package. Now, first of all, I will say that typically whenever I do a figure review, um, I've had, well, when it's a new figure review, I've typically had the figure for a few days. I've gotten him out of the package. I've checked him out, you know, run through the, the joint checklist of quality control issues that, you know, Hot Toys figures seem to have. Um, you know, sometimes it's a week or two weeks when I do a new release, and I haven't done many, but, um, but not with Thor. I literally just got Thor today at work about 2 o'clock, 2.30, he showed up at my office. So, um, I haven't even opened him up yet. Like, this is literally, like, we're going to open him up on camera, and, you know, he could have broken legs, he could come with missing parts, who knows? Who knows? We're all going to, we're going to find out together. So, um, I got to tell you, before we crack this guy open, I got to tell you right off the bat, I'm not a fan of this box. I mean, it's a standard Marvel's Avengers box. You know what to expect now. It's a slip case with a clamshell on the inside, but I'm not a fan of the cover. The artwork is amazing. What a great picture of Chris Hemsworth's Thor right there on the front. Big as all daylight. It's enormous. It looks great. It's fantastic. Not a fan of the color. And, um, you know, for me, this box should be red. Now, I know that Hot Toys is probably holding out the red for the Iron Man release that's coming up. And, and that's all well and good. Maybe it could have been a different red. Maybe it could have been a dark blue. You know, maybe at the end of this, you know, you know, Hot Toys didn't want to have two red boxes or two blue boxes. It could have been a darker blue than Caps. But uh, I'm not sure why they went with silver. I mean, his hammer is silver. Parts of his armor are silver. I get that. But... You know, at the end of the day, when Marvel Avengers line through Hot Toys is all said and done, we're going to have a black Nick Fury box, a silver Thor box, and a black Black Widow box. Um, so an additional red box or an additional blue box I don't think would have broke the bank. Uh, I'm not sure it would have looked too bad. But uh, we're not here to review boxes. We're here to review figures. So let's see if on camera, because typically this can, uh, can, go, can go crazy, if I can get this off. And uh, and here we have their store looking looking pretty tough right there in the front, uh, as you can see, still got all the uh, the packing material on him because, uh, like I said, I haven't even opened this guy up yet. So uh, he's looking really cool, and I know you can't tell because you can't really see it in the back, but his cape is on in the package, and that's what's led me to believe that his cape doesn't come off. I'm not really sure. I've seen a couple of unboxings and a couple of video reviews, but I haven't seen anybody address the fact whether or not his cape actually does or does not come off. I'm pretty sure it does not, because if it did, I think Hot Toys would have packaged it differently. Um, but as you can see, like right there on the top right and left, there is a little bit of red. I do not believe it actually comes off. So we're going to get this guy opened up and uh, take a closer look and see if that cape actually comes off. Okay, now that we've got Thor opened up and out of the package, um, I can say definitively that no, his cape does not come off. Uh, it does not appear to be, uh, it, it doesn't appear to be intended to come off. Um, I'm sure one could take it off if one was so inclined, but um, just right out of the package, it, it doesn't. Um, I was really hoping that this time his armor would be a little easier to remove, or or at least be made so that it could be removed, because... If you were to go online, go onto eBay, and look for this particular Thor, look for his armor, do a search for his armor or his shirt, and you will see that the, the chain mail, they're basically just sleeves that, um, that only cover about his shoulder and his side area, and they're actually held together by um, a black piece of um, elastic, uh, elastic stretchy string. So, so it's not a full shirt um, like it was on the first release of Thor. These are actually just sleeves that sort of fit over his arms. I'm sure they'd be quite tough to get on and off, but um, it does mean that you can take these sleeves off if you want to go ahead and, and, and break the armor off, which seems like it may be a little easier to do than last time. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I never modded my first Thor, so I don't really know, but... Um, 
that's a little disheartening. I was hoping his armor was going to be easy to get off, or at least not not too terribly difficult, because I was thinking about actually um, taking the sleeves off uh, and just being able to have like a, a bare-armed Thor, but it looks to be too much trouble on and off, and after the trouble I had with Hawkeye and getting his vest on and off, I definitely do not want to go with that again, go through that again. Um, I can tell you that the main reason why I believe like his, his um, cape is not removable and we'll look at this a little closer here in a minute is because of his head sculpt because of the way the hair flows around the back and it actually the hair actually flows over the top of the cape so I think that's why they made it not removable um, so um, here's everything you get in the package of course you see Mignolnir uh, who has been uh, revamped and redesigned to mimic his uh, new Avengers look um, you'll see the uh, Tesseract case right over here. Um, it is designed, it actually tells you in the instructions, do not attempt to open the Tesseract case from either end because both ends are fixed. And you have um, nine different hands to put on Thor. Is that right? Seven and nine. Yes. Nine different hands. You get four different hands for his uh, right hand and five different hands for for the left. The only uh, difference being um, the hammer gripping hand um, on the left hand and... I'm not sure. I, I guess I never really paid much attention if Thor was left or right-handed. Um, I, I kind of think he's ambidextrous. Okay, so why don't we take a closer look at all of Thor's accessories? Okay, here are basically all the accessories that come with Thor. Of course, not counting his stand. And you can see that he comes with um, a set of gesturing, sort of battle-ready hands. Um, your standard relaxed palms. He does come with two um, uh, hammer-grabbing hands here. Um, that are your standard, you know, just fist grab, and then he does come with one um, sort of, you know, relaxed palm holding the hammer kind of hand. Um, that that was definitely my favorite hand from the uh, from the first Thor release, and then two really nice fists for some Thor punching. So that's really, 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 really cool. So we'll uh, take a look first at the uh, the Tesseract tube, and um, as you can see. Um, in, in this tube here, uh, is that better? I don't want it to blow out too much. Yeah, right there. Okay, so um, as you can see, that does have a, a tesseract on the inside. Um, two little claw, plastic claw grips, or maybe that's just a little post in there that's holding it. Yeah, just a single post holding it on each side. Got some really nice detailing around on both ends. Looks uh, appropriately mythological and techy at the same time. Um, and I'm pretty sure with the relaxed hand, you could probably get um, Thor gripping this pretty nicely, um, as he does uh, at the end of the movie with uh, with Loki. So um, I'm hoping you know Loki and him will look really cool, kind of holding holding this thing. I'm not sure if I'll ever get a chance to see that or not because I don't know whether or not at this point I'm getting Loki. I really want him. He looks nice and all, but uh, if he comes out the same month as. Uh, Hulk, I think I may pass on Loki to get Hulk. I certainly can't afford both. So uh, it may, this may be the uh, the only, um, uh, you know, I may be only ever able to use this with Thor because, uh, yeah, I'm not sure about Loki. If he's still readily available later in the year, maybe I'll go back and pick him up if I can. So um, looking at Mjolnir here, um, you can see that, um, of course, it is metal. It's very heavy, very hefty, just like the original um, it looks great. Um, I will say that the um, this whole handle, hilt, and pommel area, this whole thing is plastic, and it feels plastic. The the bottom part of this feels hollow. It um, doesn't feel that sturdy, but it, it's very intricately detailed. It looks just like the, um, the new updated um, hilt and pommel um, in um, the Avengers film. I'm actually glad they put a pommel on it because the, uh, the original hammer did not have one and I always thought it looked weird without it. Um, the very, very nice updated, very superhero-y looking hammer. It looks great. I believe the top is probably identical to the first Thor release. It, it seems to be. Looks, looks like it is. You can see all the intricately detailed engraving on there. Very, very nice. Um, the, the first hammer, of course, it, oh, and by the way, it does have a little strap that looks a little better connected than the first Thor release. Um, the first Thor hammer, you know, the, the, there was like leather on the strap, on the, on the hilt. It looked, it looked better. It looked, um, it looked more like, you know, a, like better quality, more well-made. But um, I do like this updated look, so I'm, I'm willing to forego the plasticky feeling of the, the hilt and pommel for uh, the updated look. So looks really nice. So 
why don't we take a closer look at Thor himself? Okay, starting off with um, uh, the head sculpt here. Um, you know, for me, that that is Thor. I mean, I mean, we're we're leaps and bounds better than we were definitely on the first release. I I, I just thought his first release was too soft and too doughy in the face, too rounded, too soft. Um, but definitely here we got some some tighter detailing, some harder lines. Um, the uh, the slightly open mouth is growing on me. At first, it looked a little weird to me, um, but man, I, I just the the paint apps, the stubbling, the beard work, um, the intensity of that look is just awesome. I, I just really, really, really love this this head sculpt, and um, the, the the hair is awesome. I think they finally got a really good drape. Uh, the way it falls around his shoulders, I think, looks good. The way it's kind of brushed to the side. This kind of hairdo would be really, really hard, really difficult, I would imagine, to sculpt. And I think it looks very kingly. It looks very, you know, very knightish. It looks great. And I, and, I, and I really think between the first production photos we saw and final release, I think all traces of Leonardo DiCaprio are gone. Uh, I know that that was the, um, the most common um, complaint about, about this guy, about his head sculpt, was how much like Leo he looked. Um, but I kind of think that it's gone. Um, moving down to the armor, um, you, you've got a mixture this time of some soft fabric pieces here on the side, which you can hear, and um, very hard, sturdy rubber bits um, on the, um, the front and, and the belt that goes around. But again, some material here on the side. This armor, I think, is leaps and bounds better than the armor we got on the first release. Um, this actually looks like chain mail to me that kind of overlaps even though it does not um it his arms look massive like these are the arms that i hope these are the arms that are on bane um i you know but there may be some added padding in there to sort of make him look a little bulkier but these arms are fantastic you don't get a lot of mo movement with them um you can go up it said you can go up uh, you can see that's about as far up as it, it, it can go um they do kind of want you to lift it up before rotating it forward but um and you do you you can bend at the elbow somewhat the the range of motion is is not great um it doesn't feel much more improved than um over the over the first um uh release that we got um but one of the things that I really really like uh, on this release versus the first one is the way the hands connect. Of course, the, it's standard. Nothing's different. It's the hands connect the same way that all Hot Toys hands connect. But um, on the first Thor release, his gauntlets and the um, and the the cloth, which was just on the inside, it was a full gauntlet that went all the way around his arms, uh, and the cloth was just a little thin strip that was just a cuff that went around the inside. Um, and if you change the hands too much. It would. It would. It, it would come unglued. It would come right off. Um, this, as you can see, it goes all the way around. Um, there's no danger of that. It feels securely in place. Um, and you know, I've changed the hands a few times now, and I don't feel like you know, as long as you're not pulling down on the gauntlet to pull the hand off, you're only pulling the hand. You know, kind of pushing this up by pulling the hand down. Um, I think you're going to be fine. It doesn't feel like you're going to be loosening up those gauntlets anytime soon. Another reason why I don't think I'm going to try taking this armor off. So um, spinning it around here on the back before we go much further down, I wanted to show you the, this, you know, I'm not sure if this is the exact same cape as the first release, if they just, you know, reused it um, and, and, and fastened it uh, again because it's now on a, this whole thing is one piece right here uh, and that cape is sort of connected to this one piece. Um, but as you can see, his hair does sort of drape over the top of the cape quite a bit um, and it adds it's, it's actually a lot longer and hangs down a lot longer in the back than it does in the front and it looks very nice again the head sculpt on this guy is top notch um, just to show you guys what the back of his armor looks like um, and it does look like right here is where you would go about disconnecting the armor right here at this joint if you wanted to break the glue and sort of break that seal I'm not sure if this side comes off but it looks like right there is where you would do it um, but you can see that's all one piece that's inside the cape. The cape actually fits around, or this piece fits down inside the cape, um, which is really, really nice. See the detailing on the shoulders where it connects. Super, super nice. Um, moving down to the legs, um, the pants and all of the um, 
production shots we saw before look to be like this st very stiff material, but um, it's not. Um, very nice detailing, little stripe running down right through there, really nice. Um, you get quite a bit of mobility with the legs. As a matter of fact, the legs are actually kind of loose, um, believe it or not, and you get quite a range of motion. Um, these pants, they, they look adequately leather, but they're not nearly as stiff as leather. It's very, very thin plastic, um, which is cool. And then again, the, um, the boots, which seem to be like taller than the last release, um, but are indeed just one piece in and of themselves that's completely loose and separate from the foot, so you can get quite a bit of motion uh, in the foot. And like um, uh, Hawkeye, the boots are um, adequately mucky and dirty and have quite a bit of muck and dirt on them, which is quite nice. Uh, a very nice detail that, you know, I'm sure Joss Whedon um, had some input on in, in the costuming of these figure of these characters in the film um being that you know they were dirty and war you know battle hardened and, and worn in battle and uh so i'm glad that it was uh hot toys chose to translate that into the figures as well so so there's your closer look at thor so why don't we do a quick comparison with a couple of the other avengers figures that's been released and then uh look at this guy in some poses Okay, so for a quick size comparison, here he is next to Hawkeye and Cap. And yes, I'm, I'm so sorry I've not got around to reviewing Cap yet. He's definitely on my list. And I, I, I promise you guys, he will be the next review you guys see from me. Will definitely be Cap. I will get him reviewed up. I don't know why. He, he could just kind of slip through. But... But um, but it, as you can see, he, he's in perfect scale with these guys. Of course, they work on that very hard. And um, I know it may not be coming across very well on camera, but Thor is a hair taller than Cap, which he should be. Uh, a good deal bit um, taller than Hawkeye, which, of course, as he should be. But um, and it, yeah, like I said, it, I don't think it's coming across very well on camera. But, um, you know, looking at them straight on, and my camera's kind of pointed down a little bit, but looking at them straight on, you can see that, um, Thor's eyes are a little bit higher than, than Cap's, so um, that's a good scale. I'm really glad that he's the tallest. Well, you know, not counting Hulk, of course. All right, so let's throw Thor up on the old uh, turntable and see how he poses up. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed those poses. Not too many different poses because, you know, he's, you know, doesn't come with a lot and doesn't move around a lot. So um, not not too many uh, dramatic poses there, but um, some nice ones. Um, you guys know how I like to finish these videos off, and that's how he's going to go up on my shelf. And, you know, for the time being, this is going to be about, uh, you know, pensive, ready to go, Mjolnir, ready to go. Um, so uh, that's going to about do it for, for Thor. I, I really like this guy. I like the sleeker armor. I like the, the beefier, meatier arms on this guy. And I love the new head sculpt. And I'm glad to see Leonardo DiCaprio's out of there and Chris Hemsworth. 
um, 100% uh, present and accounted for. So uh, that's going to about do it for Thor. So as always, we're going to ask if you dug the video to please like, comment, or subscribe. And uh, join in our conversation over at Facebook.com slash UnGrownUps. And be sure to check out our podcast, which is new every two weeks over at iTunes. Or you can stream it right off UnGrownUps.com. So uh, until next time, peace.